I was kind of anxious before coming here, going back to Berlin, the same place. And I made two phone calls to ask for some advice. So the first person I called was Michael. And I asked him, so what are you thinking? What do you think, you know, the commencement speech? And he said, well, look at Steve Jobs' speech at Princeton, something like that. <laughs> okay, um, that was easy. And then on my way back here from London in the plane with my wife, Anna Luz, here on my left, ask her, so what do you think I should say? What do you think I should tell my fellow Berliners? She was very clear. She said, don't try to be funny. <laughs> don't try to be intellectual. Don't try to be charming. Just be yourself. <laughs> OK. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Ana Luz. That was very helpful. Um, so there's one thing that is very different from you guys and I. You actually finished the thesis. I didn't. So, but I did finish my five models, right? Um, exactly. But we have two things in common. One difference, two things in common. The first of all, I, I think we have in common. Raise your hand if you absolutely hated it accounting tests. <laughs> OK, good. One thing in common. The second thing in common is neither you and I have no idea what I'm going to say next. So <laughs> that's two of us. Um, I guess the easy thing to say, it's huge, huge, congratulations, class of 2019. Big congratulations to you guys. You deserve it. Please do a high five to your legs behind in front. High five, high five. Amazing job. Hey. So, hey, oh, the back too. Yeah, more high fives. Excellent. <laughs> So that's a good number, because I'm going to leave you with five things to remember. But I'm going to tell you at the end, not at the beginning. So you have to pay attention. It's a trick I learned. Um, so this, this, this is my story. That press release, that press conference was in December 2010. The, the, the accident in Costa Rica. Then I went back to the office, back to Maruri. And one financial advisor told me, by the way, your agency is worth zero. If you sell it for zero, it's a great business. Just say, OK, not so fast. I went to Cannes. My instinct told me to go to Cannes to see what's been going on in the industry since I took this seven-year sabbatical in politics. And that's when I got the brochure. And I want to say that in March 2012, when I decided to come here, I have to write. I know if you did. Why do you want to come to Berlin School? And I said, you know, I want to win the first lion for my country. And I want to understand this industry better now that I've been away and become somebody in this industry. That's what I wrote in my, in my application. I guess I got accepted. And in my first model, I was here in the same room, and I met you know, wonderful people from class 10. Yay, class 10. Um, Chacho, Leah, Andre, well, Tom. And one morning, I went running with one of my classmates. Uh, then I called him a friend, Chacho Puebla. Now I call him my brother from another mother, but still is my brother. And we became really close. And we were running in the park somewhere around here. And I told him that I, my creative director, I just quit it. He quit it. And I was looking for a new creative director in my agency. And he said, what do you mean? You are the new creative director. You have to do that. This is what we're here for. Make leaders better creatives and make creators better leaders. 
you have the ideas, you have the passion, you have the energy, you have the charisma that my wife thinks I don't have, you do it. So I took the advice. I went back to Ecuador, meet with my creatives, and I said, oh, by the way, you have a new CCO. Yeah, who? Me. Obviously, I own the agency, so there's not much they could do. Um, and by the way, this is my first idea. I brought it on the plane back from Berlin. And we're going to win the first lion ever for Ecuador. This was March. June, Cannes, 2012, we win the first lion, a gold lion for Ecuador. And everything changed. Actually, won two that year. The next year, we won five. The next year, we won nine, many goals. The next year, we won 12. And we became one of the hottest and most creative agencies, not only in Latin America, but in the world. By 2016, WPP and Gray looked at, looked at this affiliate from Ecuador winning all these lions and said, well, maybe we'd like to buy you. So we made a deal, and we sold 60% of the business to WPP. And I will say they paid a little bit more than zero, OK? So I cannot, I cannot emphasize enough how this school, how this um, program changed my life. Because it made me take the best decision I ever take, took in my life, to take the creativity on my own, to lead the creativity by myself. But for me, it wasn't just about the lions or the money or anything like that. It was about redemption. Because I had failed after Barcelona that I had let my family down, my son, Eduardo, who was, you saw in the press conference, he was very young then, and my daughter and my friends, I felt like I let everyone down. But most importantly, I felt like I let myself down. And for me, I found in creativity and in this business, driven by the Berlin School, I found the energy, the passion to be back to success again, to what, whatever we want to call success. But I failed redemptive. And it's been seven years since 2012 or 2019, seven years have been the best seven years of my life. Not only professionally, because I think when you're balanced, you find the energy and you attract good people around you. I met my wife. My kids had an amazing education. Uh, I went from being in Ecuador to run Great Latin America. Great Latin America became the most creative network in Cannes two years in a row. And then they asked me to go in Europe and run Great Europe. Things are going great. So it's been seven years, seven amazing years. So when I was going through all that pain that you saw, and you saw a portion of it, I remember Churchill words that said, when you're going through hell, just keep going. Just keep going. You will get out eventually. But you have to keep going. But you have to find the energy and the passion to get away. So, if you, if you think about it, it's been 15 years, politics, high, Barcelona, low, creativity, up again. It's like that. It's about cycles. I truly believe life is about cycles. The greater the pain, the greater the achievement. Small pain, small achievement. Great pain, great achievement. It's, it is, it is uh, the way it is. I'm really having a problem with my blocking. <laughs> so, and I'm going to tell you a story. Last year, my son graduated from USC. He's an actor. So he had six fantastic years at California studying, becoming an actor. And we were, had, we were in the Malibu in a graduation. Everyone's happy, like we're happy today, commencement day, 
you know, everyone was congratulating him, telling him how, what a great actor he's going to be, how successful he's going to be winning an Oscar, making money, be famous, all that. Everything was congratulating him. But late at night, late at night, after a few drinks, actually a lot of drinks, to be honest, the two of us were outside looking at the ocean, and I started to cry. I said, what's wrong, Dad? And I said, I'm sad. I'm, I'm not sad. I, everyone is telling you all the good things are going to happen to you. And I know your song will be great. I know you have the passion, the resilience. But nobody's telling you the pain that you're going to feel. And I'm sad because of I know what is coming to you. I know you won't give up. I know you will keep going. And that pain will make you great. I guess this is one of my messages to you. Because if you're feeling some pain right now, it's probably a good sign. If your pain is deep, if your pain and your worries are deep, you're up to something great. Because there's a question that you have to ask yourself. Do you want to be a sheep? Or do you want to be a wolf? The price of being a sheep is boredom. The price of being a wolf is loneliness. So choose wisely, my friends. Choose wisely. It's all about cycles. And I can tell you, I can feel it, that this cycle of seven years is about to come to an end. To an end. That's why I feel so close connected to Berlin, because I think it began in Berlin, and it's almost ending in Berlin, from Berlin to Berlin. For me, it's very special to be here, because I know this cycle is ending. Because I have new dreams. And I can tell you what my dreams are. And they're big dreams. And I truly believe that when you say your dreams publicly, they have a better chance to happen. So I dream of bringing my first Oscar to Ecuador. I want to bring the first Oscar to Ecuador. We're working on that. I dream of creating the Uber, the Netflix, or the Airbnb of our industry. I dream of an industry where creatives are strong and united, where creativity is valued and never ever treated as a commodity. I dream of being the one leading the disruption of this industry, the one that is going to bring this industry to the next step. And I think those are my big dreams. Those are my dreams. That's what I think now. So I think this cycle is coming to an end, and that cycle will begin. But there will be pain. And I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to the pain. But there will be pain. There will be failures. The greater the pain, the greater the achievement. So you have to ask yourself, what are your dreams? And when John JFK said, I choose the moon, not because it's easy, but because it's hard. And he knew there will be pain. So you have to decide. Do you want to be a sheep or do you want to be a wolf? Do you want to suffer and be great or not suffer so much and be OK? There's no right answer. There's no right answer. It's OK being a sheep. I think this is the line. You can stay here and be OK or was willing to go down to go up. It's your call. But today is a day of celebration. So make sure you drink, you celebrate, you enjoy with the people, because people get together in the good times. So a lot of people will celebrate. And I hope, I hope that when the bad times come, and they will come, you remember this sad president of Barcelona, this crying father in Malibu telling you it will be OK. And I hope you find a little bit of energy and resilience in this story. 
So the five things which I'll leave you with. One, make up your mind. Decide. It's OK. Decide if you want to be a sheep or a wolf. If, if you want to be a sheep, don't pay attention to the other four. If you want to be a wolf, embrace the cycles. Embrace and understand the cycles. They will happen. The third, when you're facing the pain, like Churchill said, just keep going. If you're going through hell, just keep going. Face it with optimism and with resilience. The fourth, trust the process. Trust the process. Trust that if you're going through pain and failure, success will come. You have to trust that you will come out. And finally, always choose the moon. Not because it's easy, but because it's hard. You will be great. I know you will. Because you are a Berliner. We are Berliners. Thank you.